Hey everyone, I'm gonna just make a quick video covering this because I haven't seen anyone talk about it yet, but Mayflash came out with their new Magic NS2 um, before the Magic S Pro was their uh, flagship uh, dongle. But what's special about this is Xbox Series X controller. So yes, finally, you can use your Xbox Series X controller um, with your Nintendo Switch. I've already unboxed it, so that's what it looks like. Um, I'll go over what's different between this and the S Pro. Um, but yeah, very familiar looking. Uh, instruction manual and the um, data cable, USB-C. Um, it did not come with the stickers uh, to change um, the buttons with. The S Pro came with a little sticker sheet to customize your controllers with. Uh, didn't come with this, so it takes a little getting used to if you're used to holding the Xbox controller, because obviously B and A and X and Y are switched. Um, but yeah. So looking at the previous uh, S Pro versus the new uh, NS2 over here. Uh, we can see there's a couple new systems that they added, such as the Raspberry Pi, which is cool to see. Uh, but mainly what interests me is the um, previous one only worked with the Xbox One S and X controller, and they even had a little note. Uh, it will not work with the new Series X controller, which this one does. Um, there's also no firmware updates out for the new one yet. Uh, this is February 11th, uh, 2022. Um, I ordered it pretty much right when it came out, I think, so I'm not surprised uh, that they don't have anything out yet. Um, there are a couple little issues I'll go over with the Series X controller, um, but overall, I mean, it, it, it works. The Series X controller, they have the new Bluetooth in this one. Yeah, very pleased. So just like Mayflash's other um, USB sticks, uh, you just plug it in. The LED indicator lets you know what device it's currently set up for. Red is for the Switch. I have the Switch OLED. Um, the biggest gripe I have is that the indicators for what system uh, coordinates with what color is on the back side. Um, but it's also in the instruction manual. And once you have it plugged in, uh, it doesn't change. Um, so yeah, just like any other Mayflash thing, if, if this isn't a good uh, video to show you how to set it up, just watch any other Mayflash um, setup guide. You push that button on top, blinks fast, and it's already connected, so. Ugh. And just to show you it works, push both the triggers, and I'm in. <laughs> the frame rate still sucks. Uh, the Mayflash can't fix that. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's nice that they finally released something where the Series X controller works. Um, um, yeah. What's nice is just like other Mayflash devices, once it's paired wirelessly, it's pretty seamless. The controller is just sitting here turned off. I held the button to turn it on. Boom, it's connected. Um, biggest gripes right now are you can't remap buttons, um, at least on this controller. I don't have any other controllers or systems to test, but Series X controller on Nintendo Switch, you cannot remap the buttons, unfortunately. Uh, everything works just as you'd expect though, it works fine. Um, the only issue that I'm coming across is when you wanna close software, Normally you'd click the plus button, which is this button on the Series X controller. You'd click this and the close software screen would come up. But for some reason on the main menu, um, both the plus and the minus button act like the minus button and bring up this screen instead. Um, whoops. Um, but uh, in game and everything, it works fine, like plus, is plus and minus is minus. Hold on, I'm still getting used to this. And then minus obviously doesn't do anything in this game. Um, but yeah, only at the main menu, it gets wonky like that. Um, again, there's no firmware updates right now. When a firmware update does come out, I'll be posting a video on how to update the Mayflash NS2, um, as well as going over what fixes 
it has and maybe they'll be able to figure out to make that work. 